that have been brought before this committee. Uh, charge number one on nepotism, illegal appointments, and lawful dismissions, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of county organs. Uh, Your Excellency, I have uh, one of the accusations there is illegal appointments. There is an advert dated 22nd of November with a number of directors who are reporting, as per the advert, to the chief of staff, therefore indicating that those are directors in the office of the governor. Question number one. Does the county government of Meru have an approved structure, establishment for the county government? Mm -hmm. Does the county government of Meru have an approved establishment The county government of Meru yes. has a public service board that deals with employment. Uh, Madam Governor, if you read the County Government Act, the role of the county public services does the employment, but there is what we call approved establishment that determines the number of employees, the posts, and the offices. Chair, Chair, Governor, your mic has a problem. That's probably the, the reason. It's too close. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Madam Governor was asking, does the county government of Meru, the county executive, have an approved establishment? The establishment, in this case, determines the number of employees or staff for the county government of Meru, the, the, the departments, the posts that are available. I'm only aware of the County Public Service Board. My second question. This post of directors that were advertised on 22nd, prior to you coming to office, did we have directors existing in that post or those posts were vacant? We still have the previous directors working with the county government of Meru. By the time the county public service board advertised those posts, were the posts vacant or the directors were still in office? And if they were still in office, what was to happen to their terms of service? I'm not aware of any advertisement that has someone still working in the office. Um, in the response, volume two, Maybe Secretariat, you can help me quickly address um, uh, I think that was page 16. Governor Mandeko, Senator Mandeko, as you look for the reference, uh, let's uh, capitalize on time. Yes. I allow uh, somebody else to shoot. And I've already found it, Chair. Oh, please. Please go ahead. And, and uh, Chair, please give me time because you gave people time to lay the basis. I'm only asking questions directly. If you look at volume 2, page 67, there is an advert there running all the way to page 70, 71 on a number of positions that have been advertised. And these are the director protocol and events job group R. We have director for delivery unit, county delivery unit. We have director for monitoring and evaluation. We have a director for administration. I'm only asking, Madam Governor, by the time this advert went out, did we have those posts filled or were they vacant? They were vacant. On On the issue of um,
on on um on the issue of appointments uh, of fire officers in the meeting you had in Timau. Before I go there, can I ask that do you have as county government of Meru fire fighting trucks? Yes, we have. How many and where are they located? We have five. Is it true that there is a fire fighting engine in Timau that is not functional? Yes, there is. Was it therefore necessary to have two people to call when we have a fire engine that is not functioning in that sub county? We locate the machines where there is need. It is not necessary that the fire engine is met for Timau. When need arises, we always send one to the area that is affected. And what I'm asking, Madam Governor, is you have identified two people will be alerting the county government among its other functions if there are fires. But the fire engine in Tumau, which be the nearest in terms of response, is not functional. Are there any attempts by your county government to make sure it is repaired and functional so that the two people that you have recruited under our Colea program can then be able to function? By then, the fire engine at Tumau was functioning. Uh, from the evidence of your chief of staff, who seems or has committed himself that he understands all matters to do with this um, petition, why was it appropriate for the chief of staff to himself ask for information from the department? different departments and not through the county secretary and not through the secretary of the county public service board. Was it under your instruction? No, it was not under my instruction. Madam Senator Governor. Mandago, Senator Mandago, just put your finger there. That was part of my intervention, so let, let me conclude it. Your answer, can you clarify? Because the Council for the County Assembly tried to get it from you, but he didn't push you well. This is the time. Why are you deliberately avoiding the County Secretary because he was not going to take instructions from you to give evidence in the manner you want to protect yourself? No, I was not avoiding the County Secretary because of any issue, but the Chief of Staff has always been with me in the meetings that most of the accus accusations has arrived from. I put it to you that you need to persuade us better because there is a county government act that clearly specifies the county secretary as the custodian of the responsibilities that the your chief of staff has been discharging the whole afternoon. Can you convince us? A stand guided chair that at no time that I have chosen to work with the chief of staff and then neglect the county secretary. Are you aware of the county government act? Yes. And if you are, why did you bypass the responsible officer who is the county secretary instead you bring here? the chief of staff. I thought this is a matter that is personal and not a county government case. Being my case, then I chose someone who understands the issues better. But if it was a county government case, the best person would have been county secretary. Amanda, go on. Thank you very much, Chair. Now, Madam Governor, in your own affidavit, on the reappointment of the, cabinet, uh, of the County Secretary, your statement reads, the allegation of illegal reappointment is denied and that the Governor avers that the current County Secretary was appointed in the previous regime and went through vetting by the County Assembly. 
in which the mover of the impeachment motion participated in approval, his contract was extended by the previous governor without approval of the county assembly. Please underline without approval of the county assembly. And the governor had to extend the contract again, owing to the crucial role the exiting county secretary plays in forming the new government. Just as I stopped there, when we asked your chief of staff, who has committed that he knows everything that goes around in there, your chief of staff said that the extended contract by the previous governor had not expired. Why was it necessary to reappoint? Two, you are already aware, Madam Governor, that the previous governor did not submit this county secretary for vetting by the county assembly as required. Did you have to continue with the same mistake that the previous governor had committed? Honorable Senator, when I assumed office, I met Rufus Meriti, who is the county secretary for Meru, and he was mandated to be the chair of transition for a certain period. I chose to at least for a few months to continue working with him. I sought advice from my legal team and also the board who affirmed that the contract had not lapsed. So I had no otherwise other than to make a statement of intent that I will be willing to work with him even after this. If at all the Public Service Board agrees with my statement of intent. Uh, uh, Mandago, uh, I'll come back to you another round. Let me now open up to another senator. Esther, you are, so you are Just, right. uh, uh, you Governor, because again. I didn't spend my time laying the ground, allow me to ask one question. Uh, just one, you know, you know, so that you, know, you come back uh, the next round. Senator, you know, because you're my neighbor, I know those might be your winding remarks, and I want you in this meeting up to the end. So just quickly, on. Madam and Governor, on charge number two, incitement, bullying, vilification, and misleading campaigns against elected leaders. Did you, at any given time, call the MCS? by the word in Kimeru, Berwa, which I made to understand is Fox. I have not. In dealing with matters at the word, Madam Governor, are you aware that part of the responsibilities of the MCS, and I want to draw your attention to the County Government Act, Section 9 on the role of members of county assembly. 1A that says a member of county assembly shall maintain a close contact with the electorate and consult them on issues before or under discussion in the county assembly. Madam Governor, don't you think it was within the mandate of the county assembly members to engage? the residents of their various wards on the matters of this impeachment? I don't deny it was the mandate, but the process and the way the MCS conducted was wrong. Madam Governor, when the MCS didn't approve your nominees for CCs, did you go ahead to reorganize your government so that the rest of the departments were collapsed under only three CCs. Yes, Honorable Senator, after they approved only three CCs, with the advice, we reorganized as we sought to take some more names for approval later. Are you aware? that if you have to reorganize government, you must have a CC approval. And in this case, we are serving CCs who are to serve to the end of the term. Therefore, you needed to comply with that provision 
before reorganizing your government? And do you think in that reorganization it was going to be effective for service delivery for the people of Meru County? The reorganization we made, Honorable Senator, was not a permanent solution. It was a short-term mitigation as we take other names for consideration. Yes, but what I'm asking, are you aware even that short-term reorganization needed the approval of the County Executive Committee meeting? By then, we had no County Executive Committee. Uh, Madam Governor, are you aware that the County Government Act provides that serving CCs serve in office up to until the new CCs 